Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever you're in the world. Welcome back to Mick Commander 2. Now this is a new play session for myself. I'm just trying to remember what we actually did in the last mission. It was 6-1. We managed to invade an enemy base, destroy a few airfields, and actually get an atlas on our side. Now I had said previously that I didn't think we were going to get the atlas. I may be wrong in that one. I may have to stand corrected, but it's okay. We are going to get the option now of two different levels. Defensive, counter, base areas, and garrison. Now I'm going to go for the garrison. Which is obviously capturing headquarters and then destroying a chemical plant. Now, this particular mission we have four objectives. To ca capture the headquarters, destroy the chemical plant, extract, and our sub-objective to destroy all enemy units. So, a little bit of background for this mission. Colonel Reynard has ordered the seizure of all Lao encampments and neutralization of Lao military facilities that lie on the border of Steiner territory. Drop into garrison sector, capture the headquarters of a, of a Lao base located there, designated Base Leo. Proceed then to the chemical plant in operation to the west of the base and destroy it. Until analysis, consider Base Leo and its nearby chemical processing plant a potential chemical weapons hazard. Such weapons pose a severe threat to unenclosed ground troops and support personnel. Determination of Lao activities in the sector is imperative. Tactical Officer's Notes Reynard and Steiner Hand Command aren't playing around. They're launching full scale assaults into Lao old space with every lance available, including us. Steiner Recon has sent some terrain images and they show minefields in the area. Beeper bomb mines are capable of crippling even heavy and assault mechs, so avoid them at all costs. We can clear out mechs of an area, or mines, sorry, out of an area using airstrikes. Another thing, Commander, cash, cash money, cash money, tells me that any unit 35 tons or lighter won't trigger these mines. We might be able to use that to our advantage. So that's essentially saying to me that the best thing for us to do in this mission is to go light. If we go heavy, we may run into the mines, and as it says in the synopsis there, it will cripple even heavy in assault mechs. Not that we have much on that that side. We're just going to go light. So we're starting here. And we've got, or is it, which I'm assuming is a road. It's not a great picture, to be honest. Bloody, la like, Steiner recon team not doing their job properly. But these are, I imagine these are roads. And my guess is going to be that the minefield is going to be in this sector here. Now, obviously, our, our first objective is up there. That is our headquarters. That's probably going to be armed with quite a few different mic variations, maybe a few sets of turrets, maybe even some hard-hitting vehicles. By the looks of things, that might be what it is. Now, we will probably have to go across the minefield. I'm going to ignore two and go to this area here. Might be a few resource buildings here we don't know yet. And then head up from two and three. Now, as they did say, 35 tons or later, so sorry, Shayu. I'm sorry, Star Slayer, though you've done me so well in the past. Atlas. Now, we did get the Atlas from the previous mission, and I was absolutely confident and certain that we wouldn't get, so that just makes me look like a fool. Anyway, we're going light, so Razorbacks in, Fire Ants in. And unfortunately, I have sold some of my lighter mechs, so... We're going to jump in and we're going to get the Hollander. Now, I had said previously the Hollander isn't particularly that great. And I kind of stand by that. I've bought two. <sighs> I don't need two. We'll just sell one. It's okay. Still got a decent amount of money. Stick a Hollander in. As I said previously, only got one Ghost Rifle. We are going to modify that mech. Get rid of this. And we're going to stick in a light. We're going to stick in a light ghost rifle with a few different lasers. Now, the reason I'm doing this is this will still this has still got really high damage. Six damage with a fire rate of 1.5 with heat of 1.0. That is going to hit rapid, rapid, rapid. Even our lasers damage 2.5 and a fire rate of 2.4. This is almost hard, like, like, you know, double the damage of these things. And is almost able to fire just as quick. That's going to be a hard hitter. And that's just going to be the light goss variation. So he's still 35 tons. He's not going to get hit by the mechs. I mean the mines, not the mechs. 
and hopefully you'll be able to do us a little bit of good in the back line with our Anubises. Now, we've went for the Raven. We want a sensor specialist in the Raven because it has that better sensor and the Guardian ECM. So we want to do that. In terms of a flea, I am going to stick in Claymore. Now I'm going to stick Claymore in just because it's toughness and this is probably what's going to get targeted first. In terms of everything else, we don't really have an LRM specialist. In terms of a Hollander, because it's probably not going to be the best in terms of up close and personal. Flash, you're going in there. Mm, laser specialist, you, no. I'm going to stick Chopper, who's got SRM specialist. Now, I did say previously I was just going to stick him in Sarslayers. That was his type of mech. Fortunately, in this one, we can actually take a Sarslayer, but I do like Chopper. I do like that banner, that, that bandana, that beard. It does wonderful things. You're going in the Razorback, just because that does have some SRM streaks in there. So we'll maybe get the extra bit of accuracy and an extra bit of damage on that. So... We've got two bits here. This is a both for Anubises. If I'm being honest, we, I'll maybe just stick the two laser specialists. Now, they do have lasers in there. They've both got a laser each. But if I'm being honest, I'd rather have Everim specialties, specialties there. But we don't have it. So, we're jumping into this just now. And let's see how we get on. So, into this mission now. And we do have this little stream here. Now, we can obviously go in here. It looks like we can capture the turret control. Let's, let's just head up for just now. Now, I would go to the little islands if I actually had a chance to get all of my mechs across. I can't really do that. I don't really want to split my mechs up because there is probably going to be quite a few enemies here. Oh, these are okay. See, that's the Ghost Rifle coming into play there. Not too much of a hassle. Now, these two, I'm going to put you into group two. I want you to stick back because use our LRM bolts. I don't really want you guys to engage. Yeah, I don't really want them to engage so much. Don't know what. Actually, I might just stick them all together. As I said, large pulse razors. Let's 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 stay away from there just now. Let's sort of go investigate the other side. And then we do have something down here. This is looking like a little base. Let's let's go down that way and see what's what's going on. Mine layers, yeah. As I thought, this middle area here is going to be full of mines. Not too much of a hassle. There's my catchphrase there again. Cargo truck. We're just taking out just our cargo, really, aren't we? These are just going to be vehicles. We can see them going across there on the roads. So when we take these all out, we'll maybe head down to the base. Yeah. There we go. Pretty easy. And our vendetti. We can take that out. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna jump jet over. Get the gate. Now we do have, we are getting engaged. What is this? It's a fire ant. Yeah, not going to really pose too much of an issue. Just going to run, get this resource point. There we go. It's, we've got a mind layer here. We can just destroy that. And a few vehicles inbound. We'll just run, take them out. Ooh. Claymore just took a blast in the face with a auto cannon there. Now this is a bit of a hill. Bit of a big hill actually. We're just going to run up here. Actually, we'll take out this guy first. This is just a trip transport. We'll take this out. Hmm. What's here? 
that's gate control, that's headquarters. Now, we could blow our way in for using the fuel tank. That might actually be a good shout. I'm just going to get all my guys, all my pilots, all my mechs, up this massive hill first. And then I'm going to destroy that fuel tank, breaking open entryway into the base here. And it will allow us to obviously scan larger, maybe see a bit larger. I'm just going to blow this up. Should be okay. We've got Anubises with a long range. So. And obviously, if there is going to be mechs in this base, we want to engage them at the longer ranges. Yeah, let's move back. We're getting engaged. I'm going to get Claymore to move back because he is taking some heat. Yeah, Claymore, just get out of there. I, as I was right. These are pretty heavy mechs. You know, 55 tons. They are just sort of going after... Or... Fire ant. Oh... Oh, he's lost a leg. What have you lost? He's gonna go down, I think. Well, we did manage to take them down, but... Yeah, Claymore's in a bad shape. He's technically lost a leg. Now, I do wonder, do you know what, he's got pretty much everything, and he's got a Guardian ECM, let's, let's, Roger that. let's salvage that, what's going on here, what is this, what are you doing you madman, chopper, maybe one of the good guys, yeah, these guys are pretty heavy, didn't expect it to have to engage these. Now, how many resource points do we have left? Uh, we've got 6,000. I can get a repair truck. I might do that, actually. Where did the other Shen Mei die? Do not, I'm just going to get a, report, a repair truck here. Claymore's in a bad place. Meat's obviously quite beat up because we've just destroyed the mech. And, yeah. That's a catapult. Oh, this is not going to go too well. I didn't expect there to be these sort of mechs here. I'll be honest. Now, he has an LRM boat, so if we get up and close, we should, hopefully, in theory, be able to just destroy him. And it's looking likely. Yeah, we've managed to take him down. Chopper, no. Well, he was injected. He was ejecting. Now, yeah, that catapult is available. See what I mean? 10 LRMs. That is a pretty good mech, I think. Now, I didn't anticipate that. We have lost Chopper. Um. But he ejected, so he should be okay. May have lost a laser back, but we've got enough money that we can really afford another one, to be honest, if we really need to. So, not too much of a worry there. I mean, it is still in a little. Now, I need you to repair a little fire ant. I'm just gonna make all these. Now, is Claymore still. He's, yep, he's got his leg back. Fantastic. Now, we're just gonna run in, in here. Now, that Shen Mei is actually not too bad. Now, we did have the issue with the turrets down here. What I'm gonna do 
is I'm just going to head down this way and try and engage. Now, we do have, obviously, uh, Shen Mei, or uh, Mei Shen, sorry, Men Shen, which is not too bad. It's a bit heavier, 55 tons, hopefully it doesn't get taken out by any mines. And we're just going to engage these, these forces here as we go in. Now, I don't know why my Anubis really like getting in into their face, but it's just a few smaller vehicles, so it's not too much of an issue. We are pull back, pull back, we are getting attacked. We don't know what it is, so if I can get me, if you can go in, I want you in the front and find out what this actually is. Me, if you can go down. Yeah, this is nothing. Let's just destroy it. What is this? It's just a centipede. It's not too much of a hassle. Uh, we do have that there. Let's just take the current turret control. We do have a little bit of a base. It would have really helped, I think, if we had this turret control when we're fighting the other mechs, but what can you do? We've got the repair bay there. I might get Worm into getting some repairs. So if you want to go in there, Worm, and do your best. So, we're good on this one. I really do kind of... Right, we're going to have to go up. I have no idea what's going on with these lines. It's a bit crazy. And just waypoint them around here. Now, I kind of want to get the catapult. It's... You know, it is a heavier mech at 50, is it 55 tons? 60, 65 tons. But 10 LRMs, you cannot beat that. That's better than both our Anubis's for slightly greater tonnage. What's this coming up? Yeah, this is going to be one of our Anubis's. I imagine some of our other mechs are stuck behind one of the heavier boys. Yeah. That's what I was expecting. Now, there was, I do think there's resources down here. I'm sure that there was chemical plant. I'm not really wanting to disengage at the moment. Where is this turret? Do you know? Do you know what? I'm going to send in meat to get the turret. Just solely because he has a little bit extra armour on him. So he hopefully won't take as much damage. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Now everyone can just run in and engage. I wonder what this is. Is it an LRM? Catapult. Yeah, it's another catapult. Now, we just need to get in his face. Yeah, they really did pull out all the stops in this one. I'm rocking 30 ton mechs and the fighting us, we're fighting 65 tons. Yeah, there we go. Out of the way because it may go critical. Nah, it's not going critical. Enemy resources captured. Oh, yes, get in. Catapulty boy. I don't even know if it's got. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as the other one. Let's get our little repair truck over here. We'll get this back here. Repair truck should be incoming. Are you under fire? I don't think you are. What are you under fire from? It really doesn't look like you're under fire from anything. Are you? What are you being targeted? Goodbye. I don't think you are. 
Need a lion to me. Look at that. Oof. I do like a catapult. Yeah, I've depleted everything getting him up and running. Let's get him a part of the team. Let's go. So we actually turned out to be not too bad in this one. We did lose Chopper. A Razorback. Which is unfortunate. But... We'll be okay. We've got so many LRMs, it's ridiculous at this point. Now, I do think there was resource points down here. Did we get those? Yeah, we got those. That's okay. And obviously, I'd said in the, the briefing, yeah, there's resources there as well. Enemy resources yeah, we are pretty good. I might just... I might just drop this into the other catapult. Just... Oh, I can't. I can't do that. Oh, that's gotten... Oh, well. Well, that's pretty much the mission done. We just need to... Oh, come on. Let's cancel that. Don't be so silly. We just need to run up there now. And get out. <laughs> We've managed to at least secure one catapult, which is pretty good. Objective. And we're just going to run away, run away, run away, run away, and get out of here. Obviously, a catapult's going to be probably the slowest by a long way, but what can you do? But that was that. That was a much tougher fight than I actually thought it was going to be. Didn't expect the, the men shens, 55 tons. Definitely didn't expect the catapults at 65 tons. You know, they're hitting us with heavier medium mechs and even lighter heavy mechs at this point. And we're still pretty fairly early on. And we can, yeah, let's get our razor back back. <laughs> our razor back back. And our catapult. Look at the armor on that. The speed's not great. It's about the same speed as an Atlas. But this one has jump jets. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to use them as our artillery going forward. Now, Chopper, unfortunately... You did have to eject during this, but you're promoted! Network. Phenomenal! Promoted so you're a veteran. What do I want to make you? I'm going to make you SRMs. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Do you know what? The Star Slayer is your mech, so we're going to make you a medium SRM specialist. Now I know we've already got a medium specialist. Don't want to hear it. It's fine. It's, just want to get him back in his Star Slayer as quickly as possible. Meat was already a veteran. He was the one that took down the cheeky catapult. Ooh. Yeah, Twitch came out at the end there. I think he was in the catapult. But he actually done not too bad. Maybe he wasn't in the catapult. No, he wasn't, was he? He was the Anubis. Anyway, that's us done here. We can breach the headquarters of Defensive Ares. But that's all for this episode, and I will see you in the next one.